Hey, what's up guys? Sade here. Um, today I want to keep this fairly quick. This is my first video in about two months. There's been a lot of reasons why I haven't done a video, but I'll try to be as quick as possible about this one. I haven't been able to bring myself up to make a video for several reasons, but um, about two months ago, I... I lost a very important person in my life and it hit me really hard. I lost my mom and along with that the desire to do a lot of things. I lost a part of me. I lost something that I don't think I'm ever going to be able to regain and so these past two months have been a pretty good time for me to kind of reevaluate uh, a lot of things in my life, you know, um, just priority of importance. A lot of things I won't um, bore you guys with the details of it but it, it it's been rough and as of very recently I've kind of brought myself up to starting up my my life again you know um, I've never had to deal with that level of depression or anything of that sort you know that it hit very close very very close and so I want to keep this video as short as simple as possible I haven't forgotten about you guys, I just, it's been really hard to kind of get back to talking to the camera, you know, once again, um, but with that being said, uh, a lot of other things also happened, you know, my dad also wasn't doing too good, um, and I dislocated my shoulder once again, uh, that hasn't, that injury hasn't gone away, but, uh, that has been least of all the problems, like I said, um, it hit really really hard when I lost my mother so that got me and there was other things happening in the background that uh, weren't lending themselves out to to make the best scenario <laughs> of my life but I guess out of all that uh, I finally got myself to making this video and at the end of the tunnel there was some light and one of the biggest things is I'm still here I got my health I currently have COVID <laughs> <laughs> so I, regardless I'm I, I'm still doing fine you know I, I barely got a, a little bit of an itch a little bit of a cough um, so that's that's all good and it's a, it's only been the second day so I'll be fine there's no issue with that but uh, what I'm talking about with the light of the end of the tunnel is um, I do think that for every couple of bad things that happen in your life one really good thing happens and in this case it's uh, I'm gonna be a father and <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be a dad and I'm, I'm super stoked about it I've been with my girl for 11 years now and it's always been in the plans and up until very recently we finally decided to pull the trigger and here we are you know um, almost a COVID baby not fully a COVID baby but uh, I'm very happy my mom got to hear that 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 was gonna happen and so uh, yeah it, it meant it meant the world to me so sorry if I've neglected neglected you guys. Um, as I'm making the video, I'm already feeling a lot better. Making whilst I'm making the video, as I'm doing this right now, I'm I'm not gonna cut this video at all. I'm gonna keep it as raw as possible. And yeah, guys, um, I'm I'm super stoked. You know, um, it's been rough, but like I said, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And it's always very easy to say when you're from when you're on the outside saying, yeah, you know, try to try to look at things positively that that is shit until you leave live through it if you when you live through it you you understand how all that works and for all those people that are out there that might be going through something similar know that it's a rough patch and shit happens and there's no there's no way around it you're just gonna have to go through it but once you come out on the other side just know that there there are people there that will support you and will help you out because this as, as as fucked up as it may sound this is something that happens to everybody and there's out people and if you think you have a bad there's people out there that have had it worse than you my mom got a shitty ending and and as as bad as it was i know it could have been way worse because it, it trust me it could have been way worse and uh yeah if you guys ever need help with anything going through a rough patch take your time do whatever you fucking need to i'm being as raw as possible right now guys there's no filter on me right now 
Um, do whatever you need to do. Ignore the fucking people that you need to ignore. Get your shit done. And do whatever you need to to take care of this. Because if you don't take care of this, then then you'll wither and go to shit. Do whatever you need to do. And know that there's all support out there for you guys. If you ever need, think about that you need, might need help or thinking about like suicidal thoughts or shit like that. That 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 stuff is very real. It doesn't matter how how hard of a motherfucker you are. Like life hits you and it will hit you hard and it will make you go to your fucking knees. So just know that there's people out there that you can trust. There's friends out there that you can rely on. There's family out there that you can rely on. Don't don't ever neglect the importance of them. Don't ever think that you can go through this shit alone. You probably can. There's there's some rough people out there. There's probably some people out there that 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 would be able to do that, but I know I'm not one of them and I had a very good support group. Um there's a lot of people I have to thank for in my life. Um and here I am. I'm still here. Um but once again guys, sorry if I neglected you. The videos will resume shortly um i have a lot of good shit coming in the way and sorry i had to cut the the turkesterone uh review a little short but i do have results of that i also tried out the sigma uh product that that gorilla mine put out uh, i gave that a shot so i will be making a video of that and i will be making a video of my results obviously i wasn't able to go through 90 days but i was able to go through about 60 days and i think you guys saw it last time around um how that worked out so i'll post that uh, a little bit again and show you guys where i'm at right now uh my body composition has changed quite a bit and i will explain a little bit further more in detail on the next video but um if you guys ever need help with anything and if i can help fucking dm me um you guys know my instagram uh, uh that's that's the one place where you guys can reach me leave a comment not for the sake of YouTube algorithm or that shit, just know that there's people out there going through the same same things as you are, and just like in my video in gynecomastia, um, I've been able to respond to mostly everybody out there, and the reason for it is because I know it's hard shit. You know, stuff like this happens, and just saying a couple of words of like, "Hey, I'm fucking there for you guys," or if I can be there for you guys, I'll at least you know be able to drop a a comment for you it's the least i can do um thank you guys so much and you'll hear from me shortly in another video peace